Welcome back to New Mexico Style, and welcome back to our very good friend, Tommy Gerhardt from Vernon's Jazz Club, artistic director and jazz vocalist extraordinaire. Oh, boy. Did you like that? I did. It's the truth. It's pretty nice. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, today he brought with him a very special guest. As always, you always bring us the best talent in town, and today it is Claudio Perez. And I'm so sorry that in the tease <laughs> I said Carlos, I was, I was reading incorrectly, but it is Claudio, and we're so glad to have you, and no one's going to be forgetting your name. <laughs> really. It's, I hope not. it's really nice to have you today and I want to let everybody know of course that you know we deal as you said with the top of the line when it comes to artists and these artists can be found right here in New Mexico and often at Vernon so let's get started a little bit with your background and tell everybody a little bit about how you got I think you started what at 11 years old yeah about 11 years old I started uh, to be honest I, I wanted to be just like my older brother Johan and uh, and he was playing the guitar and I was in sixth grade and he was just starting high school and so I kind of picked it up and I was like oh, I want to play and 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 my dad taught me because my dad used to play to, oh, nice. to get all the women that's how I got my mom oh, and, I love it I <laughs> and, love it and so my dad taught me a little bit and he taught me some Spanish classical songs and then I kind of went on and, 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 and kind of studied under this blues guitar player for a while mm -hmm. at my middle school and then I went to my high school and I kept playing in my high school and and, and yeah I mean I, 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 I got on stage one time and, and I fell in love with it I mean Aww. just like to be able to control stuff and 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 and, and completely change the atmosphere in a room is, is something very very special and that really is the key about music isn't it yeah it is and it's something that uh, I think was very natural in his family because mm -hmm. he didn't mention his father is a spectacular artist and sculptor in addition to oh, being wow. a painter yeah. and uh, it was in his family and his brother Johan his name is Johann Sebastian oh, that is, so you can okay. see that you know that art <laughs> feel and music and uh, was was in his family. He's one of the young. I call we we say the future young lion series. But he's one of the the, the young stars in town. That he you know he, he plays with the emotions right there in the guitar. And that's what you love in jazz. Someone who has feel. I mean, you can go to the university and you can study and practice your scales all right. day. I call those the the people that do a lot of this. But he's the a guy technical. that he, he, he's a guy that has a technical piece yeah. that he works on. But he, his feeling is is what I really love about his playing. So it's, it's wonderful. And kind of going back to what he said it's about making other people feel something because when you feel it and you play from your heart and you bring that creativity and that passion to what you play then what happens is in turn you're moving other people absolutely and isn't that the goal really yeah I, I definitely think it is and I think that's also something that I, that I try to do through my compositions and stuff I mm. mean, you know, so you write your own original music I do I do I do I've, I've, I've written a, a number of works and, and hopefully I'll be premiering this summer at the uh, at the outpost with uh, with basically a whole set of just my originals oh my goodness that's exciting yeah that's really exciting so now now I, from what I understand from reading about you I understand that you not only do blues and jazz but you do an array of different kinds of music everything from R&B to funk too huh yeah 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 definitely I, I actually just joined this this uh, this this new really really a great band with this incredible drummer uh, Eddie Garcia. It's called Equal Cut. Okay. And uh, and, and we're actually going to premiere. I believe it's April twentieth at, at the Cooperage. And nice. So that's kind of going to be. It's 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 called Equal Cut, but it's almost kind of like a super group, and it's kind of like a Vegas show band. And we'll kind of have a lot of artists come in and do some stuff. And we also kind of started with uh, with a couple of jazz musicians in town. We started a funk band, also called Sugar on Top. Okay, I like that. But, uh, a little sugar on top makes everything just a little sweeter. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> this guitar has a name. Yes, tell us about your guitar, because we get to actually see the guitar on set today. I love being able to see the instrument. <laughs> so this is a... Uh, uh this is my baby. This is my blondie. Oh, uh, that's cute. And her name's, her name's Naomi. Uh, I, I I do name all of my guitars. It's do just, you really? Yeah, it's, it's just kind of a, a a thing I like to do. So this is named uh, after a dear friend of mine that I, that I did on New Year's back, and, and she was a, an absolutely dropped dead gorgeous blonde woman, and, and and so it was fitting to name you know my blondie Naomi. I love it. <laughs> that's right. So you play Naomi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> you shouldn't be a player, but you could be that kind of player. That's a good kind of player. No, don't hate. I'm not, I'm not okay. a hater. I, I like players, unfortunately. That's the problem. Right. <laughs> no, so, okay, so question is, when you play the guitar, okay, mm -hmm. do, do you feel differently when you're playing your own music versus other people's music? I always want to ask musicians that. You know, um, um, <clears throat> I mean, I think that there's something that, that, that a, good friend of mine, uh, uh, a good friend of mine, we were just talking about a gig that we played with Jeff Coffin, who's this great tenor saxophonist that, uh, I mean, you know, multi-read instrumentalist, but he, he he plays a lot with Dave Matthews Band oh, wow. and with Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones in the jazz world, and he's a really really big name. Okay. So we just played with him, and 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 when they asked me how how he played, I said, well, he played he played the gig, 
And for a musician standpoint, it's like when somebody plays the gig, mm -hmm. it's almost kind of like like they're they're. I, I mean, you always bring who you are to to the music. I mean, right. it, it, it it rings true, and and and, it, and and you know, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious if you don't. Right. But I think if I'm coming to play somebody else's music, I kind of try and figure out you know how to get to that emotional state and figure mm -hmm. out where they're going with the music and what they're trying to say. That's great. I mean, for me, that's what music is: is just trying to say something. Tell a story. Trying to make some yeah, noise. He's yeah. Telling the truth over here. That's great. And you're and you're very fortunate because you get to bring him into Vernon's and have and show off his talent to everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was just in there Friday. We're celebrating one year over at Vernon's. Yeah. And, uh, oh yes, congratulations. He's in there Friday, filling up the yeah. house. And look at these photos, by the way. Yeah. These are great. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's called using the landscape. And if, to and, use your music. And if I may, uh, uh, this was done. Uh, these, these photos were done by a great friend of mine, Aaron War, who's uh, a bass player that I actually played in a rock band with. Mm. And uh, and he's he's an incredible photographer, and he's a dear friend of mine. And so really I, nice I always photo. call him for all my stuff. And, and that's where he usually practices, like out in the, <laughs> of the that, desert. Is that you where you practice? It's nice because nobody hears me. So if I mess up, then you know. <laughs> that's true. I, I love only it. I'll know. I love it. And of course, there you are playing. I love it. Oh wow, this is see. I love when we can actually listen. Let's listen. And what are you playing here? Uh, you know, actually, that's not me. That's not you, is it? I didn't I'm not, say it doesn't look like you. That must be Carlos. I'm just looking at the hands. <laughs> that must be Carlos. <laughs> Carlos is, that's not Claudio. That's somebody else. Okay, so let's just say that we're going to have to find some video of Claudio I next time. played pretty good. You might want to that see That guy it, was you? fine, but I'm sure you're better. Let's talk about what's happening this weekend at Vernon's Jazz Club in honor of what you said, one year anniversary. One, one year anniversary. Congratulations. Yeah. Yay. Really, really great trio coming in. It's, it's, it's America's, to the best of my knowledge, America's only all Native American jazz yeah. trio. Oh, wow. Um, red Hot and Red. And it's, it's led by uh, the great pianist Stephen Figueroa. And uh, he'll be in here Friday night at 8.30. And then coming up after that on Saturday, um, uh, the Memphis p -tails, who are just a, a blues group that is an institution here in Albuquerque. And right. they'll be in on the 9th at 8.30. So for the Jazz has a blues series. Fabulous. And of course, on Sunday, April 10th, the Tommy Gearhart Ensemble. As you know, two dinner shows, 5 and 7.30. And you can always go to the website for more information on the schedule over at Vernon's Jazz Club, as well as what's going on with the Hidden Valley Steakhouse. House. That's right. Delicious menu. <laughs> Claudio, thank you so much. Sorry about that video. No, We're going to have to get a real video of you because <laughs> we want to show so the much. world just how good you are. And we appreciate you spending your time with us here ah, in Mexico. Well, thank now. you so much it's for so having me. It's so nice to meet, you. to meet you. I want to go see you play. And it was ah, so good to course. see you, as always. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Thanks, Tommy. Thank you. And you have all the ingredients to cook up a masterpiece. But the question is, do you have the tools? Next, the co-owner of Now We're Cooking joins us in our kitchen to show us some of the coolest kitchen gadgets.